Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gordon Frayne, and today we're jumping into another price prediction, this time for Brett. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Hit that subscribe button as well. We're on the road to our first 10,000 subscribers, and it would mean the world if you subscribed. And if you want to get notified, make sure to smash that bell notification icon. We're dropping videos every day on the channel and you're going to want to get notified so you could hit your crypto goals. And don't forget to grab your free copy of the book, The Rise of Bitcoin. It's going to be linked in the description below. Grab it while it's free. It is my gift to you. It won't be free forever. So grab it while you can. Okay, jumping into Brett. Brett has been one of the biggest performing and best performing meme coins over the past number of months and again if you've been paying attention in this space over the past few months you know that the meme narrative has been one of the best performing narratives in the entire crypto industry as always before we jump into the actual price prediction itself we're going to analyze brett through the lens of these five pillars before making our price prediction in the second half of the video so make sure to stick around until the end so, what is Brett? Well, at a fundamental level, it is a meme coin within the crypto space. And when we're talking about memes, again, it's very difficult to think about the fundamentals or any type of utility behind the actual token because of the fact that being a meme coin, it is purely driven by speculation and hype. But Brett has positioned itself as one of the leading meme coins this cycle already with a lot of potential for the upside. Again, this is not financial advice. But if you understand the meme space and get a better understanding of how Brett is positioned, that's what we're going to try to communicate to you in this video. So Brett is a meme coin within the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Memes have been one of the best performing narratives in the entire space. As we said, if we just skip ahead here a moment, looking at the Dune dashboard for narrative year-to-date performance, again, you can check this out on Dune.com, but you can see here that memes have outperformed every single other narrative this year to date. And again, you can check out the sheer amount of volume that is going through meme coins in the crypto space at the moment. It completely outperforms every other narrative when it comes to the amount of volume and also in terms of ROI over the past number of months in 2024 thus far. When it comes to the Brett coin itself, Brett as a character is a friend of Pepe based on the Map Fury Boys Club series. And again, I wasn't familiar with this until a couple of months ago. But if you look and research Matt Fury and the characters that he, that he created in terms of Pepe the Frog, Brett, Andy, and Landwolf, you'll see in terms of the Boys Club, if we jump down here, this, these are the characters that have been created by Matt Fury. And again, Pepe the Frog has risen to meme coin prominence, but also just as an internet meme in general, predating the existence of Pepe the Token. It, you know rose to popular uh rose to popularity in terms of just being an internet meme in general and brett is a friend of pepe within this map fury universe and if we look at the amount of stuff that's been happening on chain and with the listings for brett thus far we can see that you can actually buy brett on many reputable exchanges like kucoin bybit and gate io okx etc and you know the fact that brett is the number one coin on the base network a lot of people are anticipating that Brett could very well get listed on the Coinbase centralized exchange in the very near future. So again, just setting the context here, Brett is the number one meme coin on the base network. And if you're not familiar with base, base is a layer two scaling solution built for Ethereum and incubated by the Coinbase centralized exchange. And Brett is not just the number one meme coin on the base network, it is the number one token on base period and again this is another very bullish piece of sentiment for brett because of the fact that base does not have its own unique native token to the network so unlike other ethereum layer 2 scaling solutions like polygon or arbitrum for example those e2 scaling solutions have their own governance token as part of their ecosystem there is the arb token for arbitrum there is the matic token for polygon Base does not have its own governance token and Coinbase have said that they do not plan, at least currently, to introduce a base token for the base network. And 
Brett has kind of become this de facto um, number one play within the base ecosystem, given the fact that Bays do not have their own native token. So again, just looking at the narratives here, obviously we're talking about memes. And again, because of the fact that there's no inherent utility or um, aspect to this token, like a layer one solution or something like that, we have to think about how it's positioning itself within the ecosystem as a whole and giving you some insights into how Brett is positioned as the number one token now on base and the number one meme coin on the base network. So again, we spoke about how base uh, Brett is the creation of Math Fury and the Math Fury Boys Club comic book series. You can check that out in detail yourself. But again, Bre base Brett is currently sitting as the number seven token in terms of market cap when it comes to the meme coin space. So the top meme coin we all know is Dogecoin, followed by Shiba Inu. Pepe is the third largest meme coin. Dog with Hat, Bonk, Floki, and then Brett is the seventh largest meme coin in the entire crypto space as of right now here at the beginning of July 2024. How will it grow? How will it position itself as it continues to grow remains to be seen. But again, given the fact that it is the largest token on the base network and Coinbase are working on a Coinbase smart wallet integration to make it easier to bring the next 1 billion users on chain and making the smart wallet so frictionless and seamless for people to use, not having to create a seed phrase, not having to cre write down and remember your private keys. Coinbase are working on this smart wallet to make the onboarding experience for people at crypto much more seamless. And again, base being the network that has been incubated by Coinbase, the base network is going to be the network that Coinbase wants everyone to use. And Brett being the number one meme coin and the number one coin period on the base network means that we will likely see a large amount of capital inflow into base and into Brett as a result of the success of the Coinbase wallet later in this bull cycle. So if we jump in and look at some of the price action over the past few months, we can see that Brett has been putting in some very strong performance over the past couple of months. We saw it get all the way up to this 19 cents level just a few weeks ago before correcting slightly and um, breaking back down to this kind of 12 to 13 cent level and bouncing back up today we're just above 16 and a half cents as you can see on the chart here but brett has been putting in excellent performance despite the pullbacks of bitcoin and despite the pullbacks of many other tokens on the market right now the meme coins have been outperforming everything in general and brett has been outperforming many of the other meme coins also we don't have a huge amount of information on the Brett team, so we're going to be skipping over that. However, the tokenomics are pretty strong on this project because of the fact that we do have the vast majority, 99.1% of all Brett tokens are already in the circulating supply. That means we're not going to be seeing huge amounts of dilution with the token over the coming months and years because pretty much everything is already in circulation. We did see the market cap get all the way up to just under 2 billion US dollars a few weeks ago when it was putting in those all-time high prices that we just mentioned there around the 19 cents level. We've since retraced back to about 1.63 billion in overall market cap. So, you know, still very, very close to these all-time highs. And again, we're going through this period of kind of consolidation here over the past few weeks, which is very strong considering the fact that many other altcoins are dropping and have continued to drop with the recent Bitcoin pullback. So putting in this period of accumulation would indicate that we are getting ready for another move to the upside in the very near future. So again, what we're estimating again when it comes to the price prediction is the fact that, you know, we've pretty much got all of the tokens in circulation. We're going to have 9.99 billion, let's say, in circulation by middle to end of 2025 when we estimate the peak of the bull cycle to be happening. Jumping on, you know, given the fact, again, that we are looking at the meme coin space and it's very difficult to judge and attribute utility to these projects, we have to get creative and compare Brett to the performance of some of the other meme coins in the 2021 cycle to give us an estimate of how high we could go in terms of market cap and overall market dominance. So again, Dogecoin, as we mentioned a few minutes ago, is the number one meme coin in the entire crypto space. If we jump back to 2021 and see just how high dogecoin got we did get all the way up above the 75 billion us dollar mark in terms of overall market cap for dogecoin we saw huge run-ups with this space and be the number one meme coin getting above 75 75 billion 
US dollars in market cap is quite an achievement. Even Shiba Inu, the second largest meme coin in the entire crypto space and the second best performing meme coin in 2021, Shiba got all the way up to a 43.5 billion US dollar market cap. Again, this is 2021. This is almost four years ago. And by the time we get to the middle of 2025, it will have been four years. And we think about the overall crypto market cap for this cycle got just under that three trillion US dollar mark. With this upcoming cycle, we would estimate getting to at least that kind of six trillion US dollar mark. So at least double the overall market cap of the previous cycle and potentially getting as high as eight or 10 trillion US dollars of capital inflow to make up the entire crypto space. So if Shiba Inu can get to a 43.5 billion US dollar market cap in 2021, if we get twice the amount of capital flowing um, into the crypto space and a market cap that is two to three times as large as the 2021 cycle, we could definitely see Brett getting to similar types of market cap, you know, that Shiba got to in the previous cycle. If we look at the dominance levels for Brett right now, Brett is currently sitting at a 0.07% dominance level versus the rest of the crypto market. However, jumping into Dogecoin again, we saw Dogecoin get all the way up above a 4% dominance level in the previous 2021 cycle. Um, it got to about 2.1% here at the end of 2022, again, with a little bit of a spike. But jumping into Shiba Inu, Shiba Inu also performed extremely well and got all the way up to a 1.9% dominance level in terms of the overall crypto market at its peak back in 2021. How do we think about this moving forward? You know, we need to think realistically about where Brett can get to. And given the price prediction we're about to jump into, you'll see that we do have to make some assumptions with regards to the overall market cap, as well as what type of dominance Brett can get to. So it's helpful to just think about where the top two coins got to in the previous cycle and how Brett might perform against those this time around. Okay, guys, very briefly, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Echo Pay. Echo Pay and the team are making it super easy and extremely seamless for you to purchase all of your favorite EVM crypto coins and meme coins on the blockchain. All you need to do is head over to echopay.xyz. You can open up their application and sign in with a Google account or similar. They've built in this extremely simple to use interface with single sign-on. And as you can see, you can simply sign in with an existing Gmail or Google account and use their platform to select and purchase your favorite meme coins. For example, they've got Pepe, they've got Brett, they've got uh, Boop, they've got a bunch of other meme coins to select from. And again, if you filter by DeFi, they've got some of the most popular DeFi tokens like Uniswap, Chainlink, Lido, uh, Avo, the Graph token, and even Pendle, which has been one of the biggest performers this year so far as well. So give EchoPay a try, guys. I'm going to be talking with the founder of EchoPay on the channel as well. These guys are building something super cool, creating a very simple interface for you to interact and purchase your favorite cryptos. Head over to app.echopay.xyz. You can grab the link in the description below. I'm going to leave a link to make it super easy for you guys to jump over here check it out, create an account, and purchase your first tokens. It is super easy, and I'm super excited to be partnering with these guys, a very genuine group of people, and a great team behind the project, and you guys can check it out for yourselves. So finally, jumping into our price prediction, we do have to make certain assumptions here. We do have to plug in certain variables. So that's why we spent the past few minutes just discussing some of the fundamentals and the stuff going on behind the scenes with Brett. But in a bear case scenario, what we're saying is the total crypto market cap could get to a peak around four trillion US dollars. If Brett can get up to a 0.5% dominance level, remember Shiba went all the way to almost 2%, that would give it a 20 billion US dollar market cap. And again, dividing that by 9.99 billion Brett tokens gives us a $2.02 .02 price target, which is about a 12X from today's prices. Jumping into our base case scenario, what we're saying is the total crypto market cap could reach a peak around six trillion US dollars. If Brett can get all the way up to a 0.7% dominance level, that would give it a $42 billion market cap, similar to what Shiba did back in 2021. 
And again, dividing this by 9.99 billion Brett tokens gives us a $4.20 price target for Brett or a 25X from today's prices. Finally, moving on to the most bullish case scenario, what we're seeing is the total crypto market cap could peak around 8 trillion US dollars if Brett gets all the way up to a 0.85% dominance level, again, which is still less than half of what Shiba got to in the previous bull cycle, that would give us a 68 billion US dollar market cap for Brett by the peak of the bull cycle. Once again, dividing that by 9.99 billion Brett tokens gives us a $6.80 price target for Brett by the peak of the cycle, which is a 41x from today's prices. So again, just giving you perspective on the fact that a 0.85% dominance level is still much less than half of what Shiba got to in the previous bull cycle and much less than a quarter of what Doge got to in the previous cycle. If we think about the fact that we're going to be seeing capital inflows getting closer to that six to eight trillion dollar mark in terms of overall crypto market cap, that is double to almost triple what we got in the 2021 cycle. It's definitely not inconceivable to think that Brett could get to a 0.5 sorry, 0.85% dominance level and a $68 billion market cap. Many people think it can go even a lot higher, getting closer to that 80 to $120 billion market cap mark. It may do, but this is the price prediction as we have calculated it for today. We might revise this again in a few months, but let us know in the comments below. Are you bullish on Brett? Are you accumulating Brett as part of your meme coin portfolio? Again, this is not financial advice. And if you're looking at meme coins, they should only make up a very, very small percentage of your overall portfolio. Um, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button on your way out the door. Hit that subscribe button as well. We're on the road to our first 10,000 subscribers. It would mean the world if you subscribed. And if you want to get notified, smash that bell notification icon so you can get notified every time we drop a new video pretty much every single day on the channel. And finally, don't forget to grab your free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin. It's going to be linked in the description below. It is my gift to you. You'll get a 100% free PDF copy. As always, we will catch you in the next one.